I'm at the glorious West London Shooting School with Alan Rose, the heir to the Percy Stanbury method of teaching. Yeah. Now, Alan, we've got a walked up set up here, but yes. not easy to replicate in a clay ground, is it? Not quite, not quite. You could have a little bit more room, yeah. But like I said, it's just going straight away. But normally you want to be out there and a little bit and open so you get a variation, you know. But this is, yeah, it's okay for good gun mounting and that. And teaching people about shooting. Then you on walked up birds, you, a lot of time you've got dogs in front of you. So you've got to wait for that bird to get up before you can actually shoot the bird. Otherwise you shoot the dogs. Yes. Simple as that. So it's quite, a, it's, it's quite an involved process, oh, yes, it's not just yes, going bang. No, no, no. no. Like I said, you'll have, might have three or four people in line, you might have ten people in line walking. But if you've just got two of you on pointers or labs, they put the birds up, you've got to let the bird go away before you shoot the bird. You can't pick it up here because you've got the dogs there in front of you. Yeah? And they're most important, the dogs. They yes. are most yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm going to stick my air protection in, let you take yes. the stand and we'll get underway. Yeah, certainly. OK. All right. Right, um, um, this has got to be an easy bird, hasn't it? Not always, no, no. But it's, it, just, it's going straight away? Well, it's not quite straight away. This is slightly right to left, but it's, a, it's one of the worst birds. You've got, to, you've got to pick it up properly and shoot it. A lot of people just go and poke at them. But it's a Galloway bird, it's still like a driven bird. You've got to pick the line up, look for the bird's beak or its head, or left-hand wing or right-hand wing, whichever way it's going. If it was dead straight away, yes, it's a little bit easier, but a bird like that is crossing or quartering you, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. Without putting the trigger, can you just show me what, what the mistake people make when ah. they close up the gun? Yeah, the, one of the worst mistakes is again, what we've been into it before, it's when the bird gets away, it's putting the gun up to its own. And that's bad for the dogs as well, isn't well, it? Well, exactly, because if the gun goes off, yeah, they won't be able to put any more up. It's always the same, it's, even wherever you're walking, it's when you move, you've got to put that gun to your eyesight or the bird, and that goes with your eyesight, rather than putting the gun up, down, and then back up again, like that. Yep. Not much movement in what you're doing there. No, no, not much movement at all. If you're doing too much movement, the bird's getting away from you. But if you're walking up grouse and that, that'd be halfway across the moor, you know. Yep. And, and tell me about the kind of shooting you do in, the, in, the, in, in this area. Tell, tell me about the sort of day, a walked up day you might do. Walked up day? Well, pheasants or partridges. Partridges are going to be on rough ground so yeah you've still got to look out for the dogs but again a lot of times you may not have dogs but then you've just got beaters but there's not many people that do an awful lot of walking up but yes when you do you still got to watch your neighbours you can't you can't come round and shoot down the line because you've still got your walked up people walking up with you yes or you can still shoot behind you but you've got to wait for that bird to come up so you turn Line of guns are there, so you're still beyond the line of guns to shoot them. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Right, would you like to load up and yes. show us a well taken walked up bird? Well. Okay, when you're ready. Okay, to, but I mean, basically, if you're walking up, you're walking up like that. Even if you're on the wrong foot, you come onto your left foot, so that goes with the muzzle. Okay. Okay. Go on then. Okay, that's a bit too. Yes. Okay, missed him. <laughs> uh, nine times out of ten, you know, when a bird gets up, it's getting up for naught mile an hour. A clay target is coming out 50, 60 mile an hour straight away. So it's harder to shoot a clay in that sense than a real bird. You've got a little bit more time with a real bird. Especially when the covey gets up, you've got four or five, a dozen birds get up. You've got a choice. You've got to pick out the right one as well. Yes. Now the gun, the gun is open. Show us a little bit of the kung fu involved in the walk-up day. Not quite kung fu, but yeah. That when you, when basically when you're walking up, you've got the dogs there. But what you've got to do is wait for the dog to put the birds up. So as you're walking, it's as the bird gets up. Even if you're on the wrong foot, you've got to just step round to your eyesight and the bird. So you take that muzzle into it. Again, you don't just go bang at the bird. You've still got to pick that line up so you go with the bird. You can either shoot his right hand wing off or left hand wing, whichever way it's going. Now, if one gets up over by that, that bit of willow over there. Yeah, but that's not a walked up bird, yes. But if, but yeah, if, but got, if, if it, it does, off the ground there, <laughs> all depends who's there. But yes, if it comes up across there, then it's the same thing. It's. And what mistake do people make with that? 
The stone was going, it's going, it just goes straight to it. Not swinging. Even the gunaway bird, it's still got what I call an imaginary smoke trail coming out of its bum. You've got to put that gun on that smoke trail to go with it to arrive at the bird.